Welcome back to the amazing Tasmania as we explore the Cradle Mountain area during the two workshops that I run. I just thought I'd give you some context because the last video ended after day two, even though we were there for four days with each group. The weather turned a little bit south and I really just wanted to focus on helping the participants get the best possible shot they could in the challenging weather. Anyway, this is the second group joining us for what's turned out to be a fantastic few days in Tassie. Round number two, here round, we are. Round number two. <laughs> Happy days. We had a fantastic week last week and that's incredible. Here we are again. We're pretty happy about it all. So the groups arrived this afternoon. Yeah. And, uh, here we go, round two. Wild Nature Photo Expeditions, if you want to get to Cradle Mountain, you got to go to his website or anywhere in the world because he goes all over the place. I'm very jealous. He photographs some amazing stuff all over the world. So make sure you look him up. Well, here we are not long before sunset down at the beautiful Dove Lake once again, Cradle Mountain. There it is in the background. This time hanging out near the boat shed that you can see just there. As you can see, pretty well rugged up, very cold. Uh, I meant to get colder, but uh, a little bit windy, so you might hear the wind in the, uh, the microphone, hopefully not. But ready for another week of Cradle Mountain photography fun. The water is the highest I've ever seen it. Uh, they had about uh, 40 mil of rain here in the last probably four days when we were here. And it's really made the, the whole lake rise up. Plus, if you have a look back there, guess what you can see the top of? There it is there, somewhere there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. You can see the top of Cradle Mount, which is amazing. And there's Izzy, another follower who's come to join us in Cradle Mountain. How are you, Izzy? Good, thanks. How would you sum this up, this location? Fabulous. It, it, fantastic. Fa fabulous, fantastic. All the Fs. He's already happy. He's only been here 20 minutes and he said all the Fs. <laughs> there you go. Good Perfect. A good shoot down at the boat shed for the first afternoon and now we're heading across to what I call the Cradle Mountain Money Shot. They're gonna love it because it's uh, it's the one that everybody knows when it comes to Cradle Mountain is this Money Shot so I'll show you shortly. So just walking from the boat shed across to the main area and what do I come across? Peter here who he can't help himself because take a look at that view. Good luck, have fun, we're heading down this way. All right, here we are back at the money shot. I say back at the money shot. If you watched the previous video, then you'll probably see that we were here the other morning. But this time we're here with a different bunch of keen photographers. Well, as we continue to take photos here at uh, Cradle Mountain, the light is really fading fast. So I'm going to wind this up here and we will see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. We are back at the beautiful, beautiful Cradle Mountain. And once again, blessed with the fact that there's not a lot of cloud around. The weather is good. Uh, we should see a nice sunrise this morning at the boat shed. So the very famous boat shed, which is just here. And uh, here with, uh, if you see the background there is David. He's just set up. You can just see him crouching down just there. Like a bit of wildlife. There we go. <laughs> and then over here, you'll probably see a couple of lights just over here is uh, Izzy and Julie just uh, composing their shot for the morning with a couple of rocks in the foreground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tripod up here as well and I'm going to get a shot this morning. Alright, so I got myself set up. I'll just talk you through my composition. As you can see, I've got the Fuji X-T1 set up there. I've got the circular polarizing filter and a 0.6 soft red ND filter in there right now. Uh, F13 is giving me 15 seconds. Still waiting for the sunrise. As you can see, the colour hasn't come out yet. The mountain has got a little bit of cloud on it, but things are looking pretty good. Lake is super full from all the rain, and uh, now we're just waiting for the colour. As soon as the sun comes up, the colour's going to hit the side of the mountain, the peak of the mountain, and we're going to see something amazing. See a little bit of pink in the in the clouds now, so we'll uh, 
we'll keep shooting and we'll see how we go. Five minutes now till sunrise, just been doing some photography. I'm, I've become a portrait photographer, these young girls here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just loving this spot down here at Cradle Mountain with the boat shed. And uh, got the camera set up, just now waiting for the light to hit the first peak on Cradle Mountain. Still set at F13, ISO uh, 200, so ISO as low as I can go. I'm a manual focus, focused on the uh, about a third into the picture. Should be able to get a cracker of a shot this morning. Well, the sun's now rising, and just check out the colour on that mountain. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. It's exactly what we get up early for, is to be able to grab these money shots with the colour just hitting the side of that mountain, looking absolutely amazing. This happens like 60 times a year here at Cradle Mountain. Most of the time you can't see this mountain. So to get this this morning on our photo workshop is absolutely amazing. So we're just clicking away, getting some great shots, some, something that we can print and hang on the wall. Here comes Izzy through the bush. <laughs> How was sunrise, mate? Great. Yeah, get a get a cracker. I hope so. <laughs> That's positive metal attitude right there. <laughs> well, that's it. Sunrise is over. We got our shots. Happy campers. And now we're just gonna trek back to the van and go and get some warm coffee. <laughs> Which it's an absolutely brilliant plan. <laughs> warm coffee. Eggs on toast, and then see what we've got installed for the rest of the day. Well, after a couple of big weeks uh, in Cradle Mountain with the running a couple of photography workshops here with Michael. It's nearly come to a close. Uh, the last couple of days the weather hasn't been great, which is hence why there hasn't been much footage because this camera is nowhere near weatherproof and I have to be careful. Uh, but I've got a bit of a break and uh, I thought to wrap this video up, I'm gonna head down to one of my favorite little locations. It just happens to be right behind the, uh, the hotel I'm staying at, it's the Cradle Mountain Hotel. And as you can see, there's this boardwalk uh, that I'm walking along and this boardwalk leads down to a rainforest that uh, is you know really nice to shoot so i'm gonna get in there and shoot a uh, um you know a shot that i've been wanting to get but it's been a little bit hard to get because of course we're tutoring a group of photographers got to make sure they're all set up and sometimes you just don't get a chance to do the the shots you want to do yourself so i'm down at my favorite little sort of rainforesty spot here at the cradle mountain hotel and uh i'm thinking about taking a shot down here i helped somebody in the group get this photo yesterday and I'm gonna try and get it for myself. I just need to do a few things to uh, to get the shot ready. I don't know if you can see down there, there's some old um, bits of tree there that I wanna move out of the shot. But essentially, that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do a nice long exposure with the water running through there. It should be quite a nice effect. Uh, always hard to take a shot in the rainforest because it's, it's crazy busy. There's so many things going on. But if you look around and really pay attention to your surroundings, you can find amazing compositions. And so uh, I'm gonna grab this shot because I've only got about 20 minutes before lunch. So I've got myself all set up. Um, I did a bit of landscaping. I removed some of the logs that were in my shot before, which I mentioned I was gonna do. So I've got the CPL filter. I've got the 6.6 uh, soft grad in there as well, just to take off some of the harsh lights off at the top. And uh, the good thing is I'm, I'm getting a really good shutter speed. Let me have a look. I'm getting, uh, at f14, I'm getting six seconds and it's just making for a beautiful shot. Uh, there's actually a little pool of water that is doing, um, actually, I don't know if you can see down there, there's some, some bubbles there that are actually doing a circle like that and it's uh, creating a beautiful little swirl in my picture. I've got all this moss on the side of the tree, but something, something sort of like that is my composition. So you can see the green ferns there, the water moving around. So a really nice composition, works really, really well. So I'm just trying a few different focal lengths. I'm zoomed in, zoomed out. Now the lights just come out, so you know that could be a good opportunity to take a couple more shots with something different with the light in there. But you know, I tend to find that when the sun is out like that, it's just too harsh. When I had the overcast skies and the sun was behind the clouds, I was getting a much better light. So 
I'll just wait for that light to dip again, which it just has. Just really soft light. Now people when, they're, when it's overcast worry about photography, but if you get the right location, like if you're at a, a rainforest, you get some amazing shots. So that's really, really going nicely. And uh, I've literally got about three minutes left, so I'm gonna pack it up there. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio, get out there and take some photos. Walk with me, lead the way I will follow. You woke me up, I no longer feel hollow. We can't help each other through this ever changing way.